What shall I paint today? Hmm, what shall I paint? I did a tree, I did an elephant, I... What? Huh? Huh? You look ridiculous. I'll paint a lion. I don't know where I come up with these ideas. I'm a genius. <laughs> I tell you, inspiration just strikes like lightning, comes out of nowhere. Welcome to Art and the Word. One of the titles Jesus is known for, or is known as, is the Lion of Judah. Partly because in the Old Testament, as Jacob, or Israel, lay on his deathbed, he gave a blessing to each of his twelve sons. Each of Jacob's twelve sons would go on to lead the twelve tribes of Israel. When it came time to bless Judah, his fourth son, he gave a special blessing. Jacob said, You are a lion's cub, Judah. You return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down, like a lioness who dares to rouse him. The lion is commonly known as king of the beasts and is a symbol of strength, power, and nobility. The lion is used as a symbol over 150 times throughout the Bible. Jacob stating that Judah was like a lion pointed to the outstanding character with which Judah had led his life, as well as a prophecy of how important the tribe of Judah would become in leading the other tribes. In Judaism, the Lion of Judah is also a symbol of the entire house of David, who was a descendant of Judah and became king of Israel. And now, the Lion has also become a symbol for Jesus, who was a descendant of David and Judah. Revelations 5.5 5 says, Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. This passage alludes to the fact that Jesus will be the one that can open the scroll. Clarence L. Haynes, in his article, Four Powerful Reasons to Understand and Know Jesus as the Lion of Judah, explains that when you consider these verses, then as a reference to the Lion of the tribe of Judah, points to the conquering victorious king that would descend from Judah's lineage, who is, of course, Jesus. God in human form. Regardless of what people think or feel about Jesus, one thing we know for sure, he is Lord, and because he is Lord, everyone will eventually praise him as Lord. It doesn't matter if a person believes that now, but at some point, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess this to be true. Ultimately, Jesus will destroy all his enemies, even Satan, who knows he is on borrowed time, because his defeat is imminent. However, the greatest enemy we face as humans is the reality of sin and death. Our sin interrupted our relationship with God, and our death meant eternal separation and punishment for our sin. Jesus conquered both of these enemies on our behalf. Our lion has given us victory over sin and has removed the penalty of death and replaced it with the promise and hope of eternal life. So don't be discouraged. No matter how bad life may feel or get, it is only for a little while. Your lion is coming soon, and he will reign forever. As important as it is to know God as the lion, that wouldn't have mattered much unless he also became the lamb. He would still be God. He would still reign forever. He would still ultimately triumph over his enemies. However, we would still be lost. What makes Jesus all the more impressive is that his road to conquering, his road to being the lion, came through suffering. He didn't redeem us by keeping his status as a lion. He redeemed us by becoming humble as a lamb. The precious blood he spilled purchased our salvation, forgave our sins, and allowed us to triumph. I am thankful that he is the lion who fights for us and will come to our rescue. I am also thankful that he became like a lamb to win back our salvation. I like how Haynes ends his observation. 
he said you will never truly understand his position as the Lion of Judah until you understand him as the Lamb who had to be slain. It's the suffering Jesus that paves the way for the conquering Jesus. It was his lamb-like surrender which goes against the norms that positioned him to become the true lion of the tribe of Judah. And here's our lion. How do you think he turned out? Let me know in the comments and please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, be creative for the kingdom. Thanks for watching.